As chairman of this commission, I stand here extremely proud this afternoon to have participated and partnered with the Tobago Panther Steel Orchestra in the refurbishing of this building here. I'm also aware that the Tobago Panthers Steel Orchestra's membership includes several young persons within this Golden Lane community. And therefore, I take this opportunity to ask the leadership of this orchestra to continue to use this fan theater as a center of excellence geared towards the empowering of our youths. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pantheater will now be named the Tobago Panthers Creative Arts Center. Right. So we will continue what we are doing as the beacon of light for Golden Lane. So well, young people will have a place to socialize and enhance their creative arts. We stand here today as president of Pantrin Bago, first, and then as the manager of a steel orchestra here in Tobago. And I must say, and I just want you to lighten up, because today is a very significant day in the history of the steel pan movement. And as we say in Tobago sometimes, my heart is filled with philanthropic joy. Madam Minister, I must say thank you. I have been looking at the direction of your commission over the last few months. And from what I have seen, I really want to commend you. I know that a number of our bands have been receiving assistance quietly and you have not been blowing your trumpet. But today is a day to sound the trumpet loud and clear. Oh, I'm really excited to be here today. This um, pan theater, the people of Golden Lane would have benefited from doing, from, from, uh, from us putting male and female bathrooms here, installation of windows and doors, render walls and floors, office space is new here, upgraded electrical system, and that was the initial work. And upon doing the assessment here, we recognized that you were having drainage problems and went ahead and, and fixed the drainage. Also created, built a brace wall to assist with uh, upholding the integrity of the building. So this is a part of our contribution, our investment in the people of Golden Lane because we recognize what this pan theater has done and what we wanted to continue to do for the people of Golden Lane. This is all about our government vision 2030, putting people first, investing in communities, helping you to develop your resources and build your resistance. So with that said, I want to thank self-help for following the instruction and moving speedily ahead. And when one proposal came, I said, uh-uh, that ain't good enough. Go back, do it again, make it better, please. So I want to thank you to the National Self-Help Commission. Thank you for the service that you have provided to Tobago also, because we know from 2013 to 2016, the Tobago public had been cut off from the National Self-Help Commission. So we as a government made it our business to reintroduce self-help commission to assist the people of Tobago in 2016. And from then to now, we have delivered over $9 million in assistance to people who are fixing their homes to develop community spaces. And the list goes on and the work continues. And it's never enough. But whatever, as we say in Tobago, one, one cocoa, the full basket. Whatever little contribution we can make, it's all towards developing the communities, developing our beautiful island of Tobago, and that investment in human capital. And that is what National Commission for Self-Help is all about. When it was developed so many decades ago, was to make people less dependent of the government, so that all people could recognize that we have the power, we have the ability, we have the knowledge base, so that we can be independent, we could contribute to our economy and help to build ourselves and to build each other. Whether it's 
individually or collectively. So here we are making this investment, building Tobago one community at a time and developing for our children a better and brighter future. So with that said, I will continue to do my part in making investment and contributing to the people of Tobago. And I expect each and every one of you to do your part too and leave whatever you put your hands and heart on better than you met it. So I want to thank you all very much. God bless you. I expect great things out of this community facility and may God richly bless our nation. I thank you.